what's up, Gun Nuts? It's Ferrari Steve with RealGunReviews.com. And today, with our Ruger Precision Rifle, it's time to talk business. And I mean business end. This is the business end of a Ruger Precision Rifle. And this is how it comes stock from the factory. And it's just kind of sad, right? I mean, it definitely needs a suppressor on there or at least a muzzle brake. And you have lots of options in muzzle brake out there. And today, we're going to talk about one of those options. And here it is. It's the Titanium Gun Parts Full Port Muzzle Brake, supplied by Anarchy Outdoors. And Anarchy Outdoors is the distributor you really should get to know if you are into Ruger Precision Rifle at all, because uh, they're just they're just awesome. Aaron over there is who you want to talk to, and he was kind enough to uh, send me this one to review. And so let's talk about kind of how it looks, how it feels, how it goes on. I'll do a separate video um, shooting it. But this right now is just kind of the general overview and install video. And installing, it ain't that hard. Just remove the stock cover on your barrel thread protector. And if it doesn't come off that easy, don't fret. I'll show you up close here. The uh, stock thread protector has these little flat spots here for putting a wrench on. And you'll note that the, uh, you know, it, it threads on really easy. It's kind of lubed up, and that's from the factory. I didn't do that. That's that's how it comes from the factory. I've had it off a couple times and put a few things on there, but I have not had to lube it more than it came from the factory. So it should be pretty easy to take off. You can't, you know, crank it off. You know, maybe get a rag, try to crank it off by hand, but if you can't, uh, get a wrench and very gently just snap it free, and, uh, and you're good to go. So let's put that aside. And here we go. Uh, boy, this... I mean, this weighs about the same as the stock thread protector, even though it's what, one, two, at least three times the size. Um, Weight-wise, because it's titanium, you get strong and light. And that's really, you know, that's why I wear this wedding ring. It's so light. I hate heavy wedding rings, don't you? Anyway, um, here you go. Just very, very gently stick it on. And it is a standard righty-tighty, lefty-loosey thread. It's not like the European ones that are left-hand thread. It's a... Uh, standard right hand thread. So just start it off nice and easy. Make sure you don't want to strip those threads. Titanium strong, but you know, why take the chance? And one of the things I like about this style of uh, muzzle brake, once you get it on there, just get a good grip and just torque it down until it stops. Um, now you might want to use a little bit of Loctite blue on there, but uh, because of the design of this, it's you know non-directional. These uh, Ports don't need to be timed. You don't need to worry about the timing of this muzzle brake. And with other muzzle brakes, you do need to worry about that. Make sure your ports are on the side or on the top or however it's designed. Uh, and so you're going to have different style of washers, uh, sometimes crush washers, sometimes spacers, to make sure you can get that timing just right for uh, your firearm. But uh, what I like about the design of this uh, titanium one is it really doesn't matter. It's got this little spiral. Um, approach on the ports and once it's on it's good to go um you know well unless i torque it it's not going to come off so i don't think it's going to loosen up i mean with some heat and some velocity going through it yeah it might come loose so uh, again a little bit of loctite probably is going to be a good idea uh, don't overdo it but I keep Loctite in my range bag so that if you have anything going wrong, there you go. Anyway, that's uh, as simple as that. That's how you put it on. That's how it works. And Well, it's not really how it works. It's how installing it works. As far as how it works, we'll go out and shoot it and see how we like it. Um, the whole idea of a muzzle brake um, is to let the gases escape in a way that helps uh, reduce muzzle rise. Um, there's lots of ideas behind what muzzle brakes can do for you or will do for you and different designs do different things. Um, I'll leave that to you to research on your own to see whether or not you even think you need one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I like the uh, look of the titanium. It matches the uh, titanium bolt knob that I put on in a previous video. Also supplied by Anarchy Outdoors, who's a titanium gun parts distributor. And if you like uh, the look of the titanium, on your guns, then this might be a way to go. You can also get this in uh, anodized black, I believe, if you don't like this bling look, but I don't know. I don't mind a little bit of uh, 
tasteful bling. You notice the carbon fiber on my Evolution bipod. Um, you know, a little bit of tasteful bling done right. I think it's okay. This is Ferrari Steve. Thanks for watching. Get out there. Use your guns. Have fun. Make sure the first time you have to pull the trigger and use that muzzle brake, it's not the first time you have done it. Stay safe out there and see Viz Pachum Parabellum.